Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for 10% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, check out tourneycrypt.com. Now, before we get into the video, guys, I do want to say I'm currently running a giveaway over on Twitter. This is for Xbox or PlayStation. Doesn't matter whichever one you guys are on. You can still enter the giveaway. And if you win, you'll get it for whatever console you guys are on. It is a completely new secondary. You get three corners, two safeties, and the training needed to add cams and abilities to those players as well. All you guys have to do is retweet the tweet. It will be the top thing in the description, top link in the description, and follow Tourney Crip, Guns Nasty, and me over on Twitter. And of course, as we start to get more retweets, I will reveal the other cards available in this giveaway, which once soon as I get the graphics, actually, I have to do a couple reviews already. So make sure you guys go ahead and enter it. You do not want to miss out on this. You get 2,560 training and the entire secondary. Links in the description. Let's get into the video. What's going on, guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video. And today, I'm going to be talking about flashbacks. Should you guys actually be buying the flashback pack? How many coins are you spending on the flashback pack? And the cheapest ways to get training points are now. Obviously, the market has changed a ton today. And I'm also going to be playing the rookie master, Josh Allen set. I finally got all 70 of these core rookies. I also want to say really quickly, thank you guys very, very much for 80,000 subscribers. That is ridiculous. I feel like just the other day I was saying thank you guys for 75K. We're already 80,000, closing in on 100,000 subscribers. So I can't say thank you guys enough. You guys have been absolutely killing it. But let's go ahead and complete this Josh Allen set so I can show you guys this man's stat. As you guys can see, we had to get all 70 of the core rookies. And also want to apologize. Here's some thunder. I live in Florida. You guys already know. It's been storming like every single day for like the past week. Ever since Madden came out, it's literally been storming. So we get Josh down here, 86 overall left end. Take a look at his stats. He is not going to make the team over Reggie White. I'll tell you guys that right now. But he's a solid card. Uh, I really wish that his block shed and his finesse were both higher, honestly. For an 86 overall card, he's got very good speed at 80 speed, 82 excel. But he's only got 81 power move and he's got 68 or 81 finesse move actually. But 68 power move, 74 block shed and an 82 player with 83 tackling. He's got a 68 catching as well, and his hit power is, I don't even think his hit power is very good either. His hit power is an 84. It's actually pretty solid hit power. But, in my opinion, I don't really think he's worth the price. I think there's a lot better left end should go in and get up uh, instead of getting Josh Allen, who's 86 overall, for the 80 speed, but really not gonna block shit or even a pass rusher. I think he's going for like 100K, 110K right now. So a solid card, but probably not worth picking up. And Josh Allen, as of right now, is 110,000 coins. So, a good price for me to sell him. I am definitely not going to hold on to this guy. I'm going to sell him for 110k, get my coins, and use it maybe on some training points or somewhere else in my team. Uh, I don't think it's worth actually to do this set. I feel like some of the cards in there, like, you need 70 cards. There's some that go for, like, 5, 6, 7k. I just happen to have all the rookies. I don't feel like selling them. But now let's go ahead and talk about the Flashback Player Pack. So as you guys can see, the Flashback Player Pack, there's currently eight flashbacks in the game. There are, I believe, I want to say there's five 86s. No, I think there's actually four. So there's four 86s and four 87 overall cards. It costs you 1700 and 80 training to go on and complete. Now, all day long, I've been getting this question, is the flashback pack actually worth opening? If you guys saw my bundle opening from earlier, I did a game changer bundle, and I also did a flashback pack. Not gonna get, you know, spoiled who I got, but I did pull an 87 out of that. And also my pack opening this morning, I did also pull an 87 overall out of that pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into training points right now, how the market has kind of changed with flashback players today, and in general, how the market has changed today, because it's changed quite a bit. I'm gonna go over the cheapest training points, how much the pack actually costs, and is the pack actually worth it to do? So 80 overalls quick sell for 190 training points, and they're currently going for about 14K, which I believe is like the most expensive they have ever been. That is a 73.6 coins per training point ratio. By far and away, the most expensive coins per training point ratio. So basically, don't pick up 80 overalls if you're trying to get training points because it is not worth it at all. And the weird thing is, right, 80 overalls go for 14K. 81 overalls are also going for like 14,000 coins, like 14.5, 14, yeah, like 14.5K. So literally not a big difference at all. And with those, they are 55.5 coins per training point, which again, is still not the best ratio. They quick sell for 265 training points. So 80 and 81 overalls, if you got these guys, now is probably the best time to go ahead and sell them because I don't really see them getting much higher than this. 
Now, 82 overall is quick sell for 365 training points. They're currently going for about 22,000 coins, which is a ratio of 60.2. So not as good as they win overalls, but actually better than 80 overalls. 82 overall cards are decent. And 83 overalls are now going for 30k. When I made my list literally like 10 minutes ago, they were going for about 28k. So they're still rising up in price now, and you can see they're actually selling. But 83 is quick sell for 505 training points, which would make that ratio of 55.4 if you can find it for 28k. Now, here's something interesting. 84 overalls, the last time I made my training points video, that's actually my first training points video, they are going for 28k. So they have risen up a ton. They're now up to 40,000 coins, and 84 overalls quick sell for 700 training points, which means that's a 57.1 training points or coins per training point ratio. That is crazy that they went from 28K to 40,000 coins. Now, 85 overalls quick sell for 970 training points, and when I made my list, they're going for about 57K, which means that is a 58.8 coins per training point ratio. So you guys can see, Training points have definitely gone up in value with the addition of flashbacks, and 85s are not the best value. Now, 86 is quick sell for 1,340 training points. You can see right now they're up about 79k. At the time of my list, they're about 76k, which is a 56.7 coins per training point ratio. And of course, with the flashbacks being out, you might be able to filter and get some snipes on 86s. Now, 87s right now, at the time, I'm in my list anyways, we're going for a 97k. They're about 94, 92k. You can see David Bakhtiari just sold. They used to be 65k. Price has definitely gone up a ton. Now, that was 1,860 training quick sell these 87 overall cards for, which would mean that's a 52 coins per training point ratio right now. 88s are currently going for about 130,000 coins. Time I'm in my list, they were 135k. They are 2,570 training points. It's actually a 52.5 coins per training point ratio, which means that right now 87s are actually better value than 88s. And right now as well, 89 overalls. They were 190 when I made the list. And of course, that's 3,570 training points. It's a lot of training points. That is a 53.2 ratio. Not bad, but you guys might be surprised what is actually the best training points ratio right now. So the actual best coins per training point ratio, the best cards you want to buy for training, is the most expensive card. It's 90 overalls. At the time I made my list, they were 240k. That is a 48.6 coins per training point ratio because they quick sell for 4,940 training. That's almost 5,000 training points. That is a ton. So yes, 90 overalls is the best, but if you don't have 240k, 250k to spend on training, the best ratio... It's actually 87s for 97,000 coins. It's crazy because they shot in price so much. Training points right now are just really, really expensive. I guess because of all the flashbacks and everything. But now that we know the coins per training point ratio, let's talk about if our flashbacks are actually worth it. So like I said, the best coins per training point ratio as of right now is 90 overall players, which is a 48.6 coins per training point ratio. Based that off of 1,780 training points needed for a flashback player, that means a flashback player pack right now is valued at about 86.5K, which means if you guys are opening up those packs, you're spending about 86.5K. Right now, Tony Jefferson, and you have to remember, when you pull these cards and you sell them, there's a 10% tax. So Tony Jefferson is 78K, which means you're going to lose about 15,000 coins. If you don't pull a card worth at least right now about, what, 95K, actually even higher than 95 about 96,000 coins, 97,000 coins, you are not going to make coins back after you sell that card. So as of right now, the only potential cards you can pull that will actually make you profit, I believe there's only two right now, and that's Jason McCordy and Andrew Luck. So you have a one out of four chance of making profit, and it's still not even going to be that much. Jason McCord, you guys can see, you're going for 115K, which means 11,500 coins off when you sell that card, which means you're getting 103.5 thousand coins back. That is only, quick math, 17,000 coins profit. That's not a lot of profit to have a risk of losing a decent amount of coins. 78K after tax, you're losing 7,800 coins, which means that you're going to lose, you're going to be down to what, 70,200 coins. So yeah, 70,200 coins, you'll lose about 16K there. And with these cards, you're not even making that much profit. Andrew looks going for 125, so 12,500 coins off of that. You're going to make 112.5K if you sell for 125. That, to me, that's not worth it. I don't think right now flashback packs are actually worth doing. Now, of course, a lot of people want flashback packs. These prices will go up over the next couple of days, I believe. Uh, right now, they actually might be about what they're going to be going for. Because think about it now, at the time I make this video, it's about 3.30 p.m. So 
people have already opened most of the packs. Now, they will be owning packs continuously, and I believe EA did say they will continue to update this. I don't think they said weekly, but right now, guys, I just don't think it's worth opening up these packs. You're probably not going to make any sort of profit. You might break even if you open up a couple of these. You get lucky. You're going to have to pull McCourty. You're going to have to pull Andrew Luck. If you get a Jason McCourty and a Luck, and then you pull yourself, like, Terrell Suggs, you might make a little bit of coins, like literally like 5k, or break even on it, depending on how much you can actually sell these cards for, but right now, I just really don't think that flashback cards are worth it, until they put in better cards, and new cards, and they said they're not doing it weekly, so hopefully, every other week maybe, or if they do decide to do weekly, that would be awesome, but as of right now, I have my personal opinion, stay away from flashbacks, I don't think they're worth it, but with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment, let me know down below if you guys want to flash up packs what did you guys pull hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys next time